Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We are also gonna have a look into Ethereum because we are creating again new all-time highs. What a surprise. And at the end we are also gonna have a look into the DXY and Nasdaq. So let's start here in the Bitcoin chart and this is now the four hour time frame. So yesterday we had here this breakout out of this rising wedge that we were forming here during this uptrend. And we have now some bearish signs here in the lower time frames, also in the daily time frame. But I think if we're gonna get here one more last leg down towards uh, sub 50k, that might be the last opportunity to buy Bitcoin at a cheap price below 50k before we are about again to take off and create new all time highs here for Bitcoin. So first here in the lower time frames, like the four hour, you can see that currently we are breaking down and in theory, the target would be here a complete retracement back down where we started this rising wedge exactly here at $47,000. So I think there is a very high chance that if here we are not able to come back into this rising wedge and push higher towards $61,000. The likelihood that we're gonna fall here even down towards $47,000 is uh, very high because uh, right now, as you can see, we had two four hour closes below the EMA ribbons in the four hour time frame, And also we are trading currently below all the important moving averages. So far, only the 100 moving average here held as a support. So in my opinion, as soon as we are getting here another buy signal in the one hour or three hour time frame, we could see here an attempt of pushing higher and retest this potential new resistance here currently at $57,700. So if here we are getting a buy signal, especially in the three hour time frame, because over on Discord, usually we are trading here the three hour time frame, we could get here a nice push here towards this potential new resistance. And if we are able again to close three and four hour candles above $57,000, then I think the chance is very high that here we're going to continue to go higher to fight this potential new resistance here. And if we are able to close again three and four hour candles above this potential new resistance, we should be good to go higher towards $61,000. And then most likely if here we are pushing higher than $61,000 that we also here on Bitcoin could go and create a new all time highs. But for now, it looks like that we here we could face some huge resistance at $57,000 and if this next buy signal will not be a powerful one that can bring us again back into an uptrend the likelihood that we could even come back down towards $47,000 is very very high and therefore let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can see clearly that we are right now getting supported by the EMA ribbons and of course also by the 20 daily moving average. You can see that we had a huge week down today towards $55,000 and this little sell off was bought back up very, very quickly for now. So we have to close above the EMA ribbons today. So above $56,000 in order to have the chance that we could head higher and also have a successful bounce and confirmation that 56,000 is our new support. The only problem that I still see here in the daily time frame is of course, first the hash ribbons. We are still in minors capitulation, so we are there not out of the woods. And also my own indicator, you can see that we could get very, very soon here a sell signal if we are not able to have a big bounce to the upside here from the 20 daily moving average. And of course, also from the 50 level in the RSI. We are again testing this important RSI level. If we would fall again below the 50 and here we will get a sell signal, then in my opinion, the likelihood is very high that we could again fall down towards $47,000. On the way to the downside, of course, we have some uh, support levels, but this $47,000 level, in my opinion, is a very strong support now. And it is possible that we're coming one more time down here to test this important price level. I'm going to show you also in the weekly time frame why this $47,000 is so important and here potentially create a double bottom formation, a W, and then have an explosive move to the upside. This is my theory what could happen here if here at the at least for now 
now we're getting rejected and we're gonna fall again down below the EMA ribbons and I still think such a scenario is very likely to come here if today we would close again below the 20 and 9 daily moving average so below 56,000 dollars and another thing that makes me believe that we could see one more last push to the downside uh, sub 50k is because for now we got rejected by the Keltner channels yesterday we had a push here exactly at the top here of $59,000 and as you can see exactly here right at the top of the Keltner channels we got rejected as expected because if here we would get rejected and we would create here a lower high in the daily time frame the chances are very high that this correction is not over yet and we could again had lower sub 50 50k before we definitely gonna bottom out and then move on again towards new all-time highs we also got here a bearish cross in the stochastic RSI so we have still some warning signs here that we could again fall down below 50k but I think uh, since uh, Ethereum and some other altcoins right now are really starting to take off, I think also here for Bitcoin, uh, we could catch up with that price action pretty soon if we are not going here below $47,000. Because this 47 k is a very important price level. As you can see, we have right now the 20 weekly moving average exactly here at $47,400. So if this rising wedge in the lower time frames would play out and we're gonna fall again down towards $47,000 this important weekly moving average should hold as a very strong support and if we are able again to retest finally this 20 weekly moving average and also have a big bounce to the upside I'm pretty confident that also here for Bitcoin we are out of the woods and most likely also here we're gonna create explosive moves to the upside very very soon the only thing that could happen if we're gonna drop below the 20 weekly moving average is of course that we could fall down here towards the nine monthly moving average since we got here a sell signal in the monthly time frame so there is a very high risk that sooner or later we could come down here to test the nine monthly moving average and this price level is here at $36,000 right now so I don't think that we will go straight down to this uh, price level but just keep this $36,000 in mind if somehow we would lose the 20 weekly moving average as a support here and if if we would see a complete play out here of this rising wedge that we have currently here in the four hour time frame so Bitcoin could face one more last leg down towards 47 K in my opinion for now we got rejected by the Keltner channels we could most likely here create a lower high for now here for the Bitcoin price but if in the daily time frame we could create a nice bullish pattern here like a big W pattern I think this could really fire up the price to the upside and then also here for Bitcoin we're most likely gonna see new all-time highs very very soon and now let's go over to Ethereum because Ethereum currently is moving like a rocket ship as you can see we had again a new all-time high here of around three thousand five hundred dollars we came very close to the next Fibonacci extension level here the 2.618 Fibonacci extension based on this last big correction that we had and the local top here at $2,700 so here we are in no man's land we don't know where Ethereum is heading to but based on this Fibonacci extension levels we can see where more or less we maybe could face some resistance or support on the way to the upside because the chart is still looking extremely bullish we had here a little pullback because in the lower time frames we had a bearish divergence as you can see here we had this high in the RSI and the lower high in the RSI but in the price action we had here this high of $3,200 and then this one over here at $3,440 and I think this already played out we had here this uh, pullback and right now we are cooling off here all the indicators and we should again gear up towards uh, new all-time highs in my opinion we have extremely good money flow here for Ethereum and even though we are overbought it looks like that we're gonna see continuation to the upside so even here in the daily time frame you can see that we still didn't get any sell signal here even with this uh, little sell-off that we had today 
but also here the 9 and 20 daily moving average here at around uh, $2,600 up to $3,000 is coming up and even if we would see here another pullback I think the 9 or 20 daily moving average could be a very strong support now so even if we would dip again into this uh, channel that we were in here in the last couple of days and weeks I still remain very bullish here for Ethereum and just to show you again the Fibonacci extension levels from this move that we had from the last all time high of $1,400 in 2017 and the absolute bottom here in 2018 at around $77. This gives us a Fibonacci extension level right here at the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level here at $8,650. And if we go over to Bitcoin, you can see that exactly the same Fibonacci extension level from the same period here from 2017 down to 2018 gives us a Fibonacci extension level of $62,000. And that's why I think $8,600 could be a potential target here for Ethereum as long as Bitcoin is going sideways or don't have any major correction sub $47,000. So $8,600 could be a potential target here for Ethereum, especially if here we are pushing higher and higher through all these Fibonacci extension levels that we have here in the lower time frames. So pullbacks will come also for Ethereum, but at the end I think this $8,600 per Ethereum is a very realistic conservative target here at least for the short to mid term for Ethereum. And of course everything is going to be depending what Bitcoin is doing and how this rising wedge here in the lower time frames will play out if Bitcoin is able to create new all time highs here in the next coming days and weeks then of course we're also gonna see big explosive moves in the altcoin space because the Bitcoin dominance is still falling and as long as we are falling here below the 50% level altcoins will profit a lot and especially if Bitcoin continues to pump or go sideways then the party is here over in the altcoins especially for Ethereum since the chart is looking extremely bullish and here we could see the price going towards 8k very very quickly and now let's have a look also into the DXY because here we had an attempt again to push above the 100 daily moving average a very important moving average for the DXY yesterday we came down to retest it and for now it looks like that the 9 daily moving average could be now a new support because yesterday and today we are bouncing nicely from this $91 level and if the DXY is able to push higher above the EMA ribbons and of course also go up here towards the 200 daily moving average at $92 this could be a a correction sign for the crypto and stock market because if the DXY is pushing to the upside usually we see the opposite in the crypto and stock market but if the DXY somewhere here would get rejected then of course I expect continuation to the upside for the crypto and stock market and if the DXY here is not able to recover back in an uptrend then I think the likelihood is very high that we could even drop here below this important support here of around $90 and that of course would fire up the crypto and stock market a lot. So the DXY is in a critical point here. We are testing the 20 daily moving average and of course also here the EMA ribbons and the RSI is right here at the 50 level. So the chance of getting rejected here is very high but if the DXY is able to push above the 50 level and of course also start to close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average or even better above the 200 daily moving average then here on the DXY we are back in an uptrend and we could face here a big push towards $94 because that could be the potential next resistance level from this big ascending broadening wedge that we are still in here in the DXY and this attempt here to push higher in the DXY now we see also the consequences over in Nasdaq because as you can see we are falling below the 9 and 20 daily moving average and also right now we are trading below this ascending triangle support level so if we are not able here to go straight again above $13,800 the likelihood that this bullish pattern here is failing and we could face here another big drop at least down towards $13,500 so towards the bottom of the EMA ribbons and in the worst case we could come back down here to retest this $13,300 
dollars support that in theory we should have now after we broke out here to the upside because this price level here of thirteen thousand three hundred dollars is a very important resistance and support level for the nasdaq mini futures and that's why the chances are very high that here if we are not able to go straight again back into this ascending triangle that we could face a correction back down towards thirteen thousand three hundred dollars and if Nasdaq is taking a plunge here, then I'm pretty confident that also here over on Bitcoin, we're going to see the play out of this rising wedge again, sub 50K. And then hopefully here, we're going to create a bottom, a potential double bottom formation, retest finally the 20 weekly moving average and then head towards new all time highs. So let me know what are your thoughts, my friends. Do you think that we're gonna see one more last leg down towards $47,000, maybe even go down to test $36,000 or are we about here to also go completely parabolic like we're going right now over on Ethereum? Let me know in the comment section and also check out Bybit and Femex if you want to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum up to 100x leverage. So also with small amounts, you can do some nice gains. You can also get a $1,000 in bonus if you put a deposit of two Bitcoin if you use my referral links down below here in the description and also a big shout out to Bitscap. They are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. Here on Bitscap, you can run trading bots on your exchanges like uh, Coinbase, uh, Kraken and so on. So all those exchanges are supported. You can connect all your exchanges to one platform and do arbitrage here or run trading bots. So definitely go and check it out. For me so far, it's very profitable. And also if it's paying out for you after 14 days, then of course you can upgrade to the monthly plan, which is starting only from $19 a month. So definitely go and check it out in one platform. You can do a lot of things that can bring you some passive money without doing much here. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and a big shout out goes also to our crypto trading chat over on Discord. If you want to join our Discord community, then use the invitation link here in the description. Once you have clicked on that, you just go here to read first and confirm that you're a human and not a bot by clicking on this thumbs up button. Then you have free access to the trading chat. And if you want to get my own in indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin then send me here a private message because a small donation is needed otherwise just get here a YouTube membership directly here on YouTube. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!